Ah, welcome back everybody, I'm Paolo. In today's episode, we're gonna be dancing the Killer Boogie. This is a wild routine, comes by way of Munich, Germany, choreographed by Marcus Koch. So today I'll demonstrate the routine, and then following that, we'll have a little discussion, break down a few steps, have a bite to eat, just have some fun. Sound good? All right, the demo is gonna be slower than normal. We're gonna slow down the song about 80% to 191 beats per minute. Now for the Liddy Hopper and you and me, that sounds pretty darn fast, which it is. But you can get up and join. Give it a shot, get your dance shoes on, and let's roll. Wonderful. If you attempted that demo with us, congratulations. We'll break down a few of the steps now. What you want to understand is this. If you're a Lindy Hopper like myself, this is a different style. It doesn't have the kind of bounce that the Lindy Hop has. It's lighter in the sense it's a bit more upright and there's a lot of absorption that you need to do in your knees. So let's look at the techniques of the Boogie Woogie. Again, just a note. I'm not a pro at Boogie Woogie by any means. So I'm showing, demonstrating based on the Lindy Hopper and me and how I translate this myself. So if I share it with you and it works for you. All right, let's break down the Boogie Woogie basic. Now remember, this is coming from the perspective of a Lindy Hopper, that's me, but I have spent many years studying this dance. Here's what we're gonna do. You start with a triple step and you bring your foot inward. Now I'm gonna bring the left foot inward as I start the triple. I'm gonna go in together open. And then on the right, in together open. At the same time, I'm absorbing a lot of the bounce. And that's what makes the boogie woogie a little bit unique and different from the Lindy Hop. So we're taking the bounce out, but we yet still have the heartbeat. 
in the dance. You have an option of doing a single step, single step, or a kickball change after the two triples. I'm going to show you the two different versions right now. So our basic version is triple step, triple step, kickball change. From this angle, triple step, triple step, kickball change. Or we could put in a walk, walk, and it looks like this. Triple step, triple step, walk, walk. Triple step, triple step, walk, walk. From this angle, triple step, triple step, walk, walk. Take a look. One and two, three and four, five and six, or one and two, three and four, and roll, roll. A kickball change, and roll, roll. From this angle, triple step, triple step, kickball change, triple step, triple step, and roll, roll. Triple step, triple step, kickball change, triple step, and roll, roll. So here are the out and ins, or you could call them the in and outs. It's all dependent on your perspective in life. Is the glass half full or the glass half empty? I don't know. Anyway, the in and outs. So to achieve this technique, what you want to do is open and close, starting with the left foot, left, right, left, right, left, right, open, left, right, close. And the technique, the in and outs, the out and ins. So start by stepping open with the left and then the right, and then come back together, bringing the feet in. Out and in, and out and in, and out and in. Now the technique involved is simply rolling from the toe to the heel as you step and place pressure onto the ground. And you want to do that because it keeps your bounce to a minimum. And in this style of dance, you don't want the upper body bouncing. So the running step or the jogging step is just what it sounds like. Now, just make sure you really bring that heel up. It makes for a nice stylish jog or run and it really enhances the pattern. So next time you're running, pull those heels up from the back view. And one more thing, try to swing those arms. You want those arms to flow and counterbalance. Just as I run, the arms will flow. Just as I run, the arms will flow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah? So make sure you have that alternating rotation with the arms. One, notice how I have my right arm forward when I have my weight on my left. Counterbalancing as we jog. Try that with me. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the rolls are simply single steps when you break it down to the most simple form. But what I am doing to capture that technique is to roll from toe to heel as I change weight and step. And that's why they're called rolls. So we can do them fast, slow. In this routine, obviously, they're done very quickly. From this angle, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Now the double kicks, you've probably seen in, in Lindy Hop as well. I'm just going to kick twice on the right, kick twice on the left. And when I do it, I'm going to try to kick forward and then back. Forward and back, or forward and to the side. Like this. Kick, 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 kick or bring it back behind you. Kick, 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 kick. So we're going to touch, touch, kick, kick. Now the touch is simply just tap the ground with the flat of the foot. Touch, touch. 
And notice how I have my leg prep for the kick at that point. Kick, prep the kick, kick. Again, touch, touch, prep, kick, kick. Bring your feet together, squat. The squat looks like this, and then we slide the feet together. Now, when you're nice and low like this with the knees soft and bent, it's a lot easier to bring the feet together as you come up. So what I'll do is I'll start to come up and then slide the feet in. That's a little secret. It makes it work. So taking it from the touches, touch, touch, kick, kick, squat, slide, and then chug forward. The chug forward is simply just chug, it's a little shovel forward. Chug, chug, right? Let's look at the Apple Jacks first. So we want to point the toe in and then press into the ground, just like this. When we go fast, it looks like this. Step, 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 step. You notice as I bring my foot down, I bring the weight into the ground. Step, bring the weight down into that foot. Step. Now bring the weight into the right. So the timing is simple. We're going to clap on eight, and one is our first apple jack with the left foot. Eight, one. That eight clap is a little kick ball change into the apple jacks. And a one, two, three. I'll do that again a little slowly. And a one two, three. You see that? From this angle. And a one. And we can hop back on that. And a one, two, three. To give it a little more excitement. The timing. And a slow, slow, quick, 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 quick. And then repeat. Slow, slow, quick, 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 quick. Putting it all together. Five, six, seven, and a slow, slow, quick, 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 slow, slow, quick, 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 quick. From this angle, six, seven, and a slow, slow, quick, 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 slow, slow, quick, 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 quick. And those are the Apple Jacks. Wonderful. What I want to do is bounce the knee outward and then in first. So I go end in, bop, bop. So you get a little rubber legs there. Bop, bop, and then you're gonna just jump and slide in. Again from here, bounce and slide. Now when I, when I do this, I actually, my knees open, I actually bounce the knees together. And then I open and slide together. The secret to the slide Come down into the knees a little bit, bend the knees a little bit, so when you come up, you're a little bit lighter. I'm going to use for the scissors kick. Kick, step behind, and kick, step behind. So I'm going to start with my left foot. I'm going to do a short kick, step down, step behind on the right. Then open up the feet to prep for the other side. Kick on the right, step, step behind. Notice how I cross. Kick, step behind, and kick, step behind. Now the scissors kicks has its name and takes its name from scissors. The scissors, because we're creating that shape with our legs. As you'll see the crossing action when I do this again facing you. Kick and step, and kick and step, and kick and step, and kick step. You see the crossing action of the legs and that crossing action thus gives you that scissor. Brother's turn. The brother's turn is perhaps the most challenging of all the patterns in this routine. But with a little bit of practice and uh, working on the techniques you can achieve this. Here's how we do it. We start with a kickball change and then plant your weight onto your left foot. Have your arms in a C shape, and you're going to counterbalance with the arms 
In other words, you'll rotate the upper body somewhat to the left to prep for the turn to the right. Once you're nice and grounded, you'll unwind and do a full rotation. Again, facing you, one and two, three, five, six, seven. And notice how I plant and sink into the ground when I'm ready to set the turn. I'm setting the turn by bringing all my weight onto the left, balancing myself as I come up onto the left and rotate. I'm putting the majority of weight on the ball of my foot. Do it from the right side. Kick, ball change, plant, come up and turn. From this angle, kick, ball change, plant, up and turn. Kick, ball change, plant, up and turn. Place the weight on the heel of the right, toe of the left. And then you'll alternate heel of the left, toe of the right. You'll be doing this with an out and in motion. I start by jumping into the position. So I'm going to flex down here and then jump into this position, toe heel. Again, I'm going to flex. I'm going to come up and open the legs into that position. Now bring the arms out for extra balance to help you stabilize. Again, from here. Hit. Now bring the feet back together and reverse. Here. One, three, five, seven, one. Now let's add the swivels that are combined with the toe heel switches. Now the swivels, the swivels are done with the right heel and the ball of the left. Or reversing left heel and the ball of the right foot. Let's put it together from the toe heel switches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now swivel, 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 swivel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now swivel, 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 swivel. Wonderful.
Well, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for joining me. For a more comprehensive breakdown of these patterns and steps, look out for a new release coming your way at lindyland.com. Till then, buona giornata.